Check the phone, brother. Mm-hmm. Let's make sure we live. GMS on the go page. Yep. We're yeah. kind of quick. Online. Can you hear us? All right, kind, kind. All right, Shalom. I look open for him, man. Hey, look, we're just going to go straight into it. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sister Ikims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear, so I can for the camera moving. Hey, look, open for him. Live from Richmond, VA, you know what I'm saying? We just you know what I'm saying on a little trip. You know, through the spirit, got the brother um take, say your name, bro. Ara. Brother Isaiah. Look, we're just gonna go straight into it. Look, this place called Babylon, aka America, it ain't gonna be around too much longer, man. We're prophesying the downfall, destruction, and death of this place, man. Give me Jeremiah right quick, 28, mm-hmm. 28. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. Right. It says, The prophets that have been before me, right, and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. And this is what the prophets of the Lord do, man. They prophesy against many countries, great kingdoms, man. America's the top one right about now, man. When Moses was on the scene, he prophesied against Egypt. Mm-hmm. When the Lord was on the scene, he prophesied against Rome. So forth and so on, ain't nothing new up under the sun, man. When when Daniel was on the scene, he prophesied against Babylon, okay? 2019, we prophesying against America, aka spiritually Babylon, Rome, mm-hmm. Egypt, Sodom, and Gomorrah, all wrapped into one, man. Mm-hmm. Before these things happen, before death and destruction comes to this place, we tell you of it, man. Okay? This, this ain't the time to be rapping. This ain't the time to be doing nothing but preaching the words of the Lord, man. That's right. Go ahead. It says, Before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Right. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Go ahead. Ain't America a great kingdom? That's right. Go ahead. Of war. It's like every ancient kingdom that was great is in the scripture, but you think he's going to leave out America, right? Right. The greatest kingdom known to mankind, mm-hmm. America. You think the Lord is written in cold, my man. You know, the missile was given to the prophets, man, of the Lord. You know, the secrets, you know? That's right. Go ahead. And of evil. Hey, look, of war. What's going to destroy America? War. See, our people still blinded by the bright lights, man. Mm-hmm. You know, the bright lights, you know what I'm saying? The big mm-hmm. city lights, the buildings and all that, man. And plus the TV, yep. the food too. But World War III is what's going to be the end all, be it all for this place. 200 million ICBM missiles are going to hit this place, but our people playing around? Right. Go ahead. And of evil. And of evil. Nothing but bad times. She was just a drive by, you know what I'm saying? Raleigh, you know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday, mm-hmm. this shit got hit like five times, yo. Mm-hmm. She was at the wrong place at the wrong time, but she was really in the right place at the right time. That's right. Yeah, man, going to the Lord. It was cold as it was like twenty degrees last night. Mm-hmm. What were you doing outside? The Lord put His Spirit on her to be outside for that exact moment. The Lord don't make mm-hmm. no mistakes, man. Go ahead. It reads on <clears throat> of evil, right? And of pestilence. And of pestilence, man. You got enough disease to say. I mean, you saw all those chemical plants we just mm-hmm. rolled past, bro. Yep. Putting all those toxins in the air. Then you got the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, cooking. And it's all through the spirit of the Heavenly Father and the Son is doing all these things. They're making mm-hmm. all these things happen, man. That's the end of that. That's the end of and that. And that's the job of a prophet, man. Give me Amos chapter 9, verse 8. We're just going to go into some destruction scriptures, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. You got something, bro? Yeah, I got Amos. This Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Right. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Got it wrong. Yeah, the Lord's eyes are upon this sinful kingdom. You know, the, the angels are keeping rapport of all the weaknesses going on in America, man. Right. You know, the pollution, the air, the food, the water, the minds of our people, you know. So, Lord, like we're saying through the spirit, my eyes and byways has a controversy with the inhabitants of the earth, man. His, his, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, man. You know, and that sinful kingdom is America. Right. You know, all the wickedness America promotes homosexuality, transgender, you know. Being proud. Being proud, unrighteous decree of laws, right. you know. Give us, give the God about one reason why he shouldn't destroy this place. We'll right. wait. We'll wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait now. All you scoffers, all you mockers, all you Christians out there, get a guy that about one reason why he shouldn't destroy America. Don't say no Obama phone either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, but the Obama phone, hey. he, 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 did you make phone calls? 
You can call, you know what I'm saying? Your friends from jail can call you free of charge. Nah, man. That's that's not going to work, man. Right. Your radiation from the phones give me cancer. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. He shouldn't destroy this place because he's high as bills, right? You know, come on, man. The guy the Bible said he's going to destroy the civil kingdom. Now, ultimately, we know it's talking about Israel, but mm -hmm. you could equate it to America right about now, man, because they, mm -hmm. they break all the laws of the Bible, man. Right. Every last one of them. Look, on purpose, man. Right. They willfully do it, man. Go ahead. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the civil kingdom, mm -hmm. and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. See, the Lord's going to destroy America from off the face of the earth, man. This land of America is going to be laid desolate. Right. That's why 200 million ICBM missiles are being prepared to be shot off to, to get rid of this kingdom, man. Okay, because once America goes down, these Edomites, their, their power structure goes down, then what? The, the nation of Israel is going to rule, starting with Lord Yahweh Shai, who our people ignorantly call Jesus, the house of David, on down to his perspective order. Right. You know? So it's going to be destroyed from off the face of this earth, man. America's on its last legs. It's at its final um, it's, it's final end, man. Right. God, saving, Amos 9 and 8, and it reads, saving, the eye will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. That's the elect of the nation of Israel. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved out of the death and destruction that's coming to America. It's going to get beamed up in those chariots right before 200 million ICBM missiles hit, man. Right. You know? It's a beautiful thing, man. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh. Hey, destruction cometh. And that's a statement, man. Okay? Hey, like the brother saying through the spirit. And the scriptures say, um, before new things I declare, okay? And the new things is that, that the Lord is declaring is destruction. World War Three. Right. Evil, pestilence. All these things are coming forth, man. Okay? To America near you and across the four corners of the earth, but mainly here in America. Okay? And then the beautiful thing about it, can't nobody stop it. That's right. Once again, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25, destruction cometh, mm -hmm. and they shall seek peace, Yep. and they, there shall be none. And there shall be none. And like we were saying earlier through the spirit, man, hey, I, majority of our people voting. Tuesday just passed, they were voting, man. You know why? Because they're seeking peace. They're looking to raise up what they deem as leaders that's going to make change. That, why? They're seeking peace. When we're not in the times of peace, man, if you discern the times that we're in, you would know four, bro. that, yep, yeah. you know that death and destruction is coming. Right. You know, all the evil that's going on across four corners of earth, these these nations are putting tariff charges against each other, preparing for World War Three. The RFID chip is here. It's getting ready to be made mandatory. Okay. And you get Nahum 3 and 1, 2. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because death and destruction is coming. Look, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Woe to her. Woe means death and destruction. To her that is filthy and polluted, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. America. It's right. filthy and polluted. Look, Micah 2 and 10 tell you that. Mm -hmm. This is not our rest. Right. This place is filthy. It's polluted. Don't get comfortable here. Nukes are, got, nukes are on the way, man. Nukes are being prepared for this place, man. I see it being missiles with, nuke, mm -hmm. with my multiple warheads are being prepared, you know what I'm saying, to scorch and burn the flesh of this whore, man. That's right. Call America, man. AKA Babylon, Rome, Egypt, Sodom, and Gomorrah. And the scriptures are not going to say America, man. Right. People still, show me where it says America, <laughs> but damn it, show me where it says missiles. Right. You know? And everything else, right? Mm -hmm. It's just written in code. Okay? So you can't get it. Right. They don't want you to get it. That's no matter how many times we break it down, right? That's right. Once again, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 1, woe, and that means death and destruction, right? Woe to her that is filthy and polluted, man. You know? Yo, this place is polluted. The minds of our people. Look how people are uh, bugged out here in the streets of America. They're here with their pants hanging down, you know, to the to the, to their uh, to their knees. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not walking wisely. Right. They're not fearing the God of the Bible. The wisdom of Yahweh by Shema is not promoted here. Right. What's right. promoted here is being a Solomite. You know, uh, you got in the music that's okay for a man to steal another man's woman. Right. You know, to steal your girl. That's right. right. That's what's promoted here. Folly. folly right. Folly. You got, you seen a prime. A prime oh, yeah. Wit place. Witches and warlocks. Mm -hmm. look at these, look yeah. Look at these beasts. <laughs> Not even one. Look, look at these beasts. beasts. Look, look at these that. beasts. Brute beasts, right? Look, and look, that is the scripture speaking away. Right. Look at these beasts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These, these brute beasts. Right. Then, you know? Well, what are they good for? May they be taken? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right here where it says 50 at, the precept, it says gluttonous. Mm. 
Uh, everybody just eating on pizza. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else to do, just pizza, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Walter, Walter, look, Walter Her. Yeah. They're whore, you know what I'm saying? Yep. The right. daughter of Babylon, right? Yep. Walter Her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressive city. Just mm. don't look oppression. This don't this place oppress the hell out of uh -huh. you, man. To the oppressive city, man. That's to let you know I ain't talking about no women. Mm -hmm. It's talking about a place, man. That's right. Okay. Is that she obeyeth not the voice? She obey obeyeth not the voice. She receiveth not correction. She this place is not going to receive correction. Mm -hmm. Look, oh yeah, um, they didn't hate correction, so I'll be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. You know. And you go. The correction goes back to warning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, it says Babylon can't be healed anyway. Yep. We would have healed Babylon, but she cannot yeah, be yeah. healed. You know. It says, um, she she receives not correction. She trusts not in the Lord. She drew not near to her power. Now you know, ultimately, it's talking about Israel, yep. but you could equate you no know, saying that to America right about now, man. America ain't trust, but then they hold the Bible up as as a standard, mm -hmm. though. Lying, look, lying bastards the whole time, man. The God of the Bible got something for this place. You want to say something like that? I agree, son. Go ahead. This is Psalm 50 and 16. Going to the wicked, mm -hmm. the Most High saith, What has thou to the do to declare my statutes? Every time you every time you go to court, mm -hmm. they're pulling out that Bible. Every time you go to church, they're holding up the Bible, opening it up. What are you wicked Edomites, you know what I'm saying, doing with our Bible, man? Doing what you have by Shemel Shai's high holy words, man. You don't follow instructions. Right. You got your own penal code. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn, you know? Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a Bible fearing country, though, right, bro? But break every law of the Bible, man. That's why that's why the Lord had us do this open forum right quick, man. Right. Going from state to state, you know what I'm saying, bro? Right. Spreading the gospel, man. Somebody up listening. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was it, Isaiah. There's a little bit more. Go ahead. And it reads Psalms 15 and 16 are or, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in my in thy mouth. Right. Seest thou hatest instruction. Look, mm -hmm. this place hateth instruction. The God of the Bible say one thing, this place do the other, man. Mm -hmm. Total opposite. And casteth my words behind thee. Going right back to the court system. Mm -hmm. They have you swear on the Bible, then that's ain't no, they take that Bible no and throw it in the trash can, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? I just seen Edomites throw Bibles away, bro. If I don't want a Bible, I just sit it somewhere. I'm not going to throw it away. But these Edomites, they'll take a Bible and throw it away, bro. Right. Look, it ain't nothing. Then you know they don't believe in the word, right. man. They cast the word right behind and they pull out their penal code. They, yep. they pull out their unrighteous decrees. Another reason why it's going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm going to jump down to verse 21. Yeah. These things hast thou done, right. and I kept silence. Pluted wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth. And you have about Shemel Shah, so he kept silence, but, but not no more, though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. Yeah, the so-called white man then beat the Israelites down to the very last compound. Destroyed the whole earth. Look, yeah, look. Esau, you destroyed the earth, man. It was created, you know what I'm saying, as a paradise, man. Mm -hmm. You turned into a desolate wilderness right about now, man. You destroyed everything. You got animals that stink. You got animals that was created to live forever. You got they gone now. Mm -hmm. Shit, what when it's like one um white rhino left? Who he gonna fuck? You right. know what I'm saying, bro? How he gonna produce babies? I guess y'all gonna create a, create one in the lab. You know what I'm saying, bro? And he's gonna come out all deformed. Hmm. The Lord gotta come back and create a new man. They hate it for instructions, man. Mm -hmm. Cast the words behind them. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah, it's some good Edomites, though, right, bro? Our people are gone, man. And it reads, But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Oh, yeah, you know the Lord said he's long-suffering either, yeah. right? He's long-suffering, but he will not at all acquit the, the wicked, wicked, man. The Lord is long-suffering, but he will not at all acquit the wicked, man. You're guilty as charged, man. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. man, it's a beautiful thing to even know these scriptures, to be able to bring out these scriptures, you know, to know that these devils going to go down soon come, man. Yeah. And I got a precept. Huh. This is Jeremiah chapter 50. I started 22. A sound of battle is in the is in the land. That's I was literally just reading that. Word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it or you want me to get it? You got it. Once again, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 22. A sound of battle. Because look, what is what Jeremiah said? We prophesy of war, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you hear the trumpet. Mm -hmm. Anytime you hear that trumpet blowing, that means wartime. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
You know, uh, it's time to, uh, the enemy's coming. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Oh, going right back to Joel, sound the alarm, yep. blow that trumpet. Yep. So that's yep. what we're doing, right? A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, mm -hmm. not peace. We, what we just read, Ezekiel mm -hmm. 7 25, destruction coming mm -hmm. and they shall see peace, but ain't going to be none, right? It says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder? You know, America is the hammer of the whole earth, man. Mm -hmm. They go around destroying people, man. They right. go around land grabbing. And taking natural resources and so forth and so on, right? Yeah. Look, and it says, um, and, and cut asunder and broken. Look, how is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Look, look, it is future prophecy. Mm -hmm. This ain't happened yet. You know, this is talking about after them nukes, you know what I'm yep. saying? Hit this place, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's asking a question like, what, a Babylon, the bully, the one who's right. Right. right, you know, taking everybody's land. That's right. Yeah, that's the right. Big bad wolf. This, the weak saying, I'm strong. Mm -hmm. the, they about to they about come together and stand against this bully. That's you know? right. Yeah. It says, all they that bend the bow, uh, shoot that arrow, mm -hmm. no arrows. That's right. I have laid a snare for thee, a trap. Mm -hmm. The God of Bible got traps set up for this wicked sinful mm -hmm. kingdom, man. From New York to California, no sense going to go in one hour, man. Mm -hmm. and that's a lot of land right there, bro. That flame and that heat. <coughs> it reads on, I have laid a snare for thee. And thou art also taken, O Babylon. No saying the land of confusion, right? Mm -hmm. And thou was not aware. It looked, see, the legion are not aware of the setup and the trap and the snare that the God of the Bible got planned for them, man. You know? That hole in the ground, mm -hmm. no saying it's cold with some hay. If you're just walking through, no saying with your head all up in the air, and that's thing you know your ass falling into it and yep. you can't get out of it. That's that snare and that trap, man. And let us know when it's time to roll or whatever. Yeah. It says, And thou was not aware. Thou art found. And also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord had opened his armory. That's it's going to them nukes mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? Look, the weapons that y'all built, you know what I'm saying, that y'all created, it was the weapons of the Lord's indignation, man. It was yep. his weapons, man, that he's going to use against you. Yep. It says, um, he have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Mm -hmm. Those ICPM missiles, man, yeah, he created the Smith. You know what I'm saying? And they made, they created, they split the atom. That's yep. right. But it was all for their destruction. Ain't the Lord cold, right? He said he dealt with something. You can't get no cold on that, man. Right. The true um, chess player, right? Yep. Yeah, the Lord laid the snare. You know, the mm -hmm. Lord had them create their own weapon that was going to destroy mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says, um, for this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh power of hosts. That's right. In the land of the Chaldeans, man. Come against her from the uttermost border. You know what I'm saying? Like, them news going to come from China, Russia, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The uttermost border, mm -hmm. way from on the other side of the world, yo. It's yep. going to come over here, man. It says, um, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Mm -hmm. Look, ain't, 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 ain't nobody climbing up from up on a rock. Right. You watch that movie, um, Planet of the Apes, you know what I'm saying? You got the, um, what's that one in the tower? Not the tower, but the one with the lamp and all oh, that. Um, uh, Liberty, so Liberty, the Statue Statue of Liberty, Liberty on, the, on the sand or whatever, <laughs> with half her body still there. Nah, man. It says, the scripture says, won't nothing be left, man. Mm -hmm. Nothing ain't going to be left of this place, right? It says, um, slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day is come. The time of their visitation, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion, that's not going into the elect, right? The vengeance of the Lord our power, the vengeance of his temple, call together the archers against Babylon. Look, bring all the missiles mm -hmm. out. Bring them out, bring them mm -hmm. out. Call all the archers, man. That's right. It says, um, all ye that bend the boat camp against it. You can have all America's so-called allies, man, and their enemies to mm -hmm. shoot nukes on this place. And America's going to try to shoot their nukes. They're going to get their nukes off, but this place is going to be burnt with fire. Right. Just imagine, America, no sense, by herself now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In this scripture right here, she's by herself now, yep. bro, and you got all the other nations. The other nations going to realize that this place won't shit, yo. Yep. It was a cause of them going through hell in their country, mm -hmm. man. You know? And it reads, um, all, all ye that bend the boat, Going into the missiles, the silos, shooting the missiles, kept against her, kept, kept against it round about. Look, let none thereof escape. Recompense her, payback, right? Mm -hmm. Recompense her according to her works. According to all that she have done, do unto her. That's right. For she have been proud against the Lord. 
thy pride have deceived thee. Mm -hmm. Going right back to Obadiah. It says, um, was that do unto her, for she have been proud against the Lord and against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Right. And ain't it a beautiful thing? Behold, I am against thee, O most proud. Going into the elites and all that, man. Mm -hmm. They ain't never worked yet. They ain't been working in, in, um, in centuries, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It says, saith the Lord, power of hosts, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities. Look, man, that lake of fire, mm -hmm. that's what's going to burn this place, bro. It says, um, and she shall devour, now, and it shall devour all around about him, man. This place is going down, man. And we, mm -hmm. we get this last one. <coughs> that um, Malachi. Malachi. We get that Malachi 4 and 1, and we'll wrap it up. Just something quick, right quick, man. Yeah. I'm saying, keep that fire burning, man. That, right. that, this this really that midnight oil for real, for real. It's midnight. Right. This is Malachi 4 and 1. For Matter of fact, before you get that, bro, get, um, what is it, Isaiah 9? 9 and 5. <coughs> yeah, get that right quick and then get that. Uh, I get it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. Yeah, cause we, 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 just a quick sum right quick. Go ahead. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. You got that, Isaiah? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Yeah, confused noise. And you get that uh, new movie that just came out on Netflix, King. You know, mm -hmm. they show you that. You know, uh, you know, you got one army, you know, standing against the opposing army. You got horses galloping. You got mm -hmm. the uh, you got mm -hmm. the leaders, the general uh, screaming, trying to get their uh, their men back in line. Mm -hmm. You got the, uh, the war cries. Mm -hmm. You got the swords clanging against uh, another swords mm -hmm. against shields. Yeah. A lot of confused noise. Go ahead. Says and garments rolled in blood. Yeah, you know, you got, uh, you know, you got blood splatting everywhere from more people getting stabbed, people mm -hmm. dying, you know, people fighting the, to the death. Go ahead. But. This shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But but this World War Three, you know, the war, the end all wars, you know, the war that's gonna wipe America off the face of the earth shall be with burning with fuel of fire. You right. know, and that fuel of fire is gonna be those ICBM nuclear missiles that that's right. Shima Shai have created, you know, to destroy this place mm -hmm. you know, and to cleanse the earth. Yep. Huh. So go back to the last one. Malachi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Right. For behold, the day is come that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all them that do wickedly shall be stubborn. So this is the day that we're looking forward to. Mm -hmm. The day that's going to burn as an oven, man. Mm -hmm. You know? They're going to launch no missiles over here. And the scriptures say they should not miss their rank, man. That's right. X marks the spot, man. Hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, it says that what? They should come down upon the I do me. Mm-hmm. You know? And it reads, Look, the people of the Lord's curse. That's right. Sorry. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. That's right. Saith the Lord of hosts. Right. That it shall leave. See, they forgot that the Lord is a man of war, man. Mm -hmm. I think he's a soft by now. Nah, it says the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, man. Yep. This is who's coming to fight against you people, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. That's right. Saith the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them. Neither root nor branch. Right. Mm -hmm. But on to verse two. Yeah. That's pretty much the point. Get to. Okay. But on to you that fear my name. And that's the that's the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we're part of the hopeful elect. But unto you that fear my name. That's right. Go ahead. Shall the son of righteousness. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly call Jesus. Go ahead. Arise with healing in his wings. Right. See, Lord Yahweh is coming with that humongous chariot the size of a mountain. He's coming mm -hmm. with healing in his wing. What is the healing talking about? Deliverance, man. Salvation. Being beamed up into that chariot, man. When the missiles come down and burn this place, man. Like we just read in the first verse, man. Mm -hmm. Burn this place as an oven, man. And we ain't talking about them look because shit, you can't even put your hand in a regular oven. Right. This oven right here, no saying, gonna be extreme mm -hmm. hot, man. That with them Nebuchadnezzar ovens, mm -hmm. you can't even get near it or you'll die. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. So more to that verse, bro. Got, got, and it reads. <coughs> it says, 
Malachi 4 and 2, arising with healing in his wings. Right. And you should go forth and grow up as calves of the stalk. And I got one more. This is um First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Yeah, because what? The brethren, the, the true man, the Lord, they're going to be watching, you know? Mm -hmm. They're going to be watching for the prophecies, for the signs, you know, uh, breaking news. That's you right. Know, seeing what's linking up the scriptures. Right. It says, um, for yourselves know perfectly, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall come as a thief in the night. Yeah, we don't want the Lord to come and catch us off guard. That's why right. we gotta be watching. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's right. why we gotta be uh, feeding the lambs of Yahweh Shai. That's right. For when they shall say peace and safety, this sudden destruction cometh upon them as to veil upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. Well, let's make America great again. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, let's all uh, hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Right. Yeah. You know, what, what, what's the thing of the New World Order? You know, where everyone. You know, come together under right. one, uh, right. one, one, accord, yeah. one banner and all this other one nonsense. Banner, yeah, like there right. be peace to the earth. No, that's not happening. Right. Because what? When peace and safety is saying, well, that's what these pastors in the church saying, then sudden destruction is going to come. Mm -hmm. to that's right. Them, you know? And they're not going to be able to escape this destruction that Yahweh Shema is bringing. You know? That's right. S sudden destruction. Mm -hmm. And bro, we're going to roll out. You know what I'm saying? We'll probably read probably about two more scriptures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll get yeah. 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 Look, look, Babylon, the great AK American, you know what I'm saying, is going to burn soon, come, man. It's going to be a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? And, and we'll read on, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, right. do a little bit more before we, before we roll out, you know what I'm saying? Roll, roll through the city. Hey, every city you go to is judgment, right, bro? Mm -hmm. No matter what city, yo. That's right. What is it coming this way or something? Uh, no, they get ready to make a, a, a right, but I'll wait for them. Yeah. Ain't nothing but death and destruction everywhere, yo. It's a beautiful thing, though, ain't it, bro? That's right. It's a beautiful thing, yo. We good? I'm waiting for it. Um, just yeah. Away from this brother. is um Second Peter chapter three, uh -huh. verse ten. But of that day, it look, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua will come as a thief in the night. Didn't we just read about that? Mm -hmm. But we're not in darkness, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. The prisoners are not in darkness, man. Everybody else is still sleeping in bed, right. bro, spiritually. Look, the thief is coming through the door. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh -huh. And they still sleeping, snoring their tails off, bro. Uh -huh. With the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Got their eyes on the window, though, bro. Right. You know? You good? Yeah. We're just going to ride. We're going to just ride through right quick. You know what I'm saying? Edify a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Before we shut up, I want to bring out like at least about two more scriptures. And then we're going to wrap it up, man. Then you can take right. your time, roll. Yeah. Nice and slow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the camera, let, let it do what it do. So once again, Second Peter chapter three verse ten. But the, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. With a great noise. Mm -hmm. what, what is that talking about? That's talking about them ICBM missiles hitting this place, man. I don't care what city you in right about, mm -hmm. it's gonna burn soon. Come, man. You better get right. You Israelites better get right with with who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. Because I don't care what city you in, man. Mm -hmm. Big your city is, how small it is, what type of apartment or house you got, what car you got. The Lord don't care nothing about it. Mm -hmm. He gonna burn it all soon. Come, That's and right. we're gonna read it. And it reads, um, it says it's gonna pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Everything that you see. From California, you know what I'm saying, to New York, it's gonna burn the hell up soon. Come, let it shake. It don't matter. Let it shake. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's how. That's how. That's how. This, oh yeah, ain't that, ain't that the spirit, bro? Uh -huh. The missiles gonna make you no know sense. Place this on um, this land called America, on um, real, real to and fro, like, like a drunkard. So that's that's all spiritual right there. The camera rocking. Uh -huh. I'm saying America's gonna rock soon. Come, that's man. Right. This earth is gonna real to and fro soon. Come, right? That's right. It says seeing then. It says um seeing then that all these things. Shall be dissolved. What man or person are you to be? Should you be out here? No, saying I'm still celebrating. Oh, what is that, bro? Four leaf clover. Uh, where, where is that day right there, bro? Uh, um, Four leaf um, clover, um, right thing. Uh, leprechaun day. I forget yeah, the name leprechaun of, I forget day the name and all that other nonsense. Yeah, name of it. Saint Patrick's. Day. Yeah, should you be still celebrating Saint Patrick's Day, knowing this place is gonna burn sometime, right. or your birthday? Your mama birthday, Halloween, Christmas, all this other nonsense. Nah, man. You should be getting your ass together with the God of the Bible. All right. And then the Lord got his men, you know what I'm saying, going into overtime, too. Push it up overdrive, man. No matter where we at, if the spirit is on us to turn that camera on, we turn the camera on, man. Right. And we get it in. We bring out the scriptures. 
And every time we speak, we speak according to this word, right, bro? That's right. It says, um, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness in that word conversation go back to your conduct? How should you be conducting yourself? How should you Israelites, Negroes, Latin, look at that. Look, you know, street full of women, everybody mm -hmm. drunk. Why is they out this time of night, right. bro? You know what I'm saying? It's like 12 o'clock, you ain't got nothing but women getting the bride, bro. Right. But the students just asked us, what should be your conversation? Uh -huh. How you should be conducting yourself? Right. Should you be out late night partying all that, right. bro? Living a careless life? No, man. No, man. Your eyes should be focused on the prize, man. You know? Yep. If I can I tell yeah, you, yeah, yeah, almost that same Matthew 24 chapter talks about the good man of the house. Right. The good man of the house heard about a thief going around. Right. Right. So you don't know when the thief is coming to him. Right. But he's keeping an eye on it, you know, just to see, you know, if the thief is ever going to come his way so he could be ready, man. That's right. Looking out the window, peeping. Right. You know, staying alert. That's right. how it's supposed to be, man. Through the power of the hour, but you shy. That's right. See, our only conversation should be the kingdom. Yep. You know, I mean, look at all these clothes we passing by, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You know, every city is the same. Every city over here in America is the same, whether it's a big one or a small one. It's all the same. People partying, living a careless life, you know, yeah. cigarettes, weed, the same thing, man. This dude, look, look, you ain't worried about a car door unless right. you took it off. Once he got the chickadees with him, right? Right. But it says on uh, verse 12, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, looking for and hastening. Until the coming of the day of the Lord. That's mm -hmm. what, that's our conversation, bro. That's right. We can't wait till the Lord come and destroy this place, right? That's right. It says, um, wherein the heavens, meaning this rulership, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that's the only thing that's coming here, bro. Mm -hmm. Fervent heat, man. I see being missiles, man. Look, look, but but before all that, bro, death and destruction, man. You mm -hmm. see what people you see what people are doing, man. Nothing, man. Uh, you, you see people over there partying. I don't know if the camera picking it up or whatever, whatever. But I ain't gonna break the camera trying to look at these fools. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get it back up there right quick. So lock your brethren. Get this thing back up there right quick, brother. Man, look at them knuckleheads. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just partying, doing nothing, living a careless life. Live, live, your, live a careless life when them nukes come, man. Right. You know, we we know what the Lord is getting ready to come to do, and I want to bring out one more huh. before we wrap it up. You, know? you want to chime in, bro? You already know what it is, man. Uh -huh. well, once again, this is Matt, St. Matthew chapter 24. Well, we always bring it out. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse um, 21. Red letter, Lord Yahushai, uh -huh. for then shall be great tribulation. Great tribulation. You know, it's coming to America. Right. Anguish, sorrows, famine, death and destruction. Uh, pestilence, right? Evil times, race riots. That's right. You know, that's right. All this is coming to America, man. And these people have no clue. Majority of these people have no clue. Well, Look, it didn't say nothing about light. love, did it? Look at running red yeah, light. Yeah, ran a red light. Look, it didn't say nothing about love in that scripture, did it, bro? Nope, it didn't say nothing about love. Why didn't that police, you know what I'm saying, just come out to cut? You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's like, just, it's like this every city, though, bro. Yep. Every city is nothing but confusion. Blue lights. You yep. know what I'm saying? Blue lights, bright lights, mm -hmm. horse thoughts. Look, everybody living a careless life, bro. Yep. Saturday too. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, it was really Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yep, yep. You know, yeah. late Saturday, late early Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, for this shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Yeah, hey man, that that Jacob's trouble. As well as uh, the, the sorrows is going to happen to these other nations too, man. Right. You know, across the four corners of Earth and here in America, man. The Earth ain't never experienced Everybody's going to be catching hell. Everybody's going to be catching hell, man. Right. You know, once that dollar crash, there ain't going to be no food uh, right. uh, to, to, to be able to distribute it to amongst the people. Right. And then martial law going to kick in. You know, they're going to make the RFID chip, which is the market of uh, beast, mandatory. Right. You know, man, people going to go crazy, man. That's right. They ain't going to know how to react, man. All the money that you had in the bank, it ain't going to be worth nothing. Yeah, it's good to say your riches proper not in the day of wrath, but yeah. righteousness delivered from death. That's right. These people don't know nothing about that, bro. That's They're right. too busy having fun. It's, it's all about twerking. It's all about having fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sound like a broken record, but it is what it is, though. It says, and it reads, reading on and it reads, it says, um, since was not, since the beginning of the world to this time, no. Nor ever shall be. Yeah, and if I could just say this too, remember uh World War One, World War Two, the Great Depression, 70 AD. Right. You know, all these things happen, man. The flood, right, all these things. It's it, this time is coming, 
you can't even compare it to those past things that happened, man. Right. That's how bad it's gonna be, man. That's right. But the only, only thing these people think about is a college career, bro. Right. Four more years in college and going to vote and all this other nonsense. And then let you know ain't nobody reading the scriptures, man. Right. The Lord said a day that's coming ain't never happened before, man. Only thing I'm bringing is different instruction. The only thing I people think about is folly right about now. Now you better get your mind right. Right. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect, because this devil gonna come down with wrath, mm -hmm. knowing he only got a short time to rule, bro. That's right. But the scripture says, um, but for the elect's sake, those days should be short. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord is shortening the days up. Specifically for the elect of the nation of Israel. Right. That's how bad it's gonna be, man. That's right. Everybody's gonna be catching hell. The Lord's like, you know what? Uh my you know, the elect has had enough. Let's go ahead and redeem them. Right. Okay, let the rest of them destroy and perish, man. Right. You know? Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men and sign right, cry right. for all the abominations they be done in the midst thereof. Right. And I get what you just said, you know what I'm saying? With the ain't what the Lord told the angels. Mm -hmm. This is Revelation chapter seven, verse one. And after these things I saw four angels. Standing on the four corners of the earth, mm -hmm. holding the four winds, was that wind represents mm -hmm. destruction. destruction. Yep. The four winds of the earth, which I can get it right quick. I mean, I'm gonna get it right quick, huh. just to prove. You know, so you know, we back everything up with scriptures. You know, what right. I'm saying we speak according to the word. This is Jeremiah chapter 51. Yeah, we get it. It's all good. And these, and these streets drew, man. Right. All these streets tore the hell up, man. Every last one of them, man. You know. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, a.k.a. America, the land of confusion, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, man. Mm. So that wind represents destruction, man. Right. The wind that we're reading about right here. And after these, going right back, Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds aka that destruction that nuclear destruction mm -hmm. of the earth that the wind that destruction should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any trees mm -hmm. and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal that's the angel no saying that we read about in ezekiel mm -hmm. the ninth chapter right yeah it says um having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the peace. But I thought the God about was all about love, bro. What, what is the scripture saying, though, bro? Mm -hmm. He's coming back to hurt things, right? That's right. It says, um, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads, right? Yep. With the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the names of the heavenly father and his son. The spiritual mark, yep. you know what I'm saying, bro? To be from judgment, man. That's mm -hmm. why we do these videos. That's once again, that's why the Lord got us going into overtime, bro. Yep. Overdrive, man. Every time you turn around, bro, we, we doing a video. The Lord put this. It's the Lord put the spirit on mm -hmm. us and cut the camera on, man. Right. To do something for the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, when we part of the whole for elect, man. That's right. What, what else? What, what else is there else to do? You know. Yeah. But the one of people. That's how you know it's deadly serious. And I will bring out one more since I said that yeah. just to end it. I bring out that Ezekiel um 33 right quick. Mm -hmm. And end it with that. We end it with that, bro. Right. We end it with that. You know. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. And again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, that sword represents represents destruction. Mm -hmm. If the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman. If when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blew off the trumpet. Ain't that what we doing? Sure. And look, bro, and warn the people. Mm -hmm. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning, if the, and that's the majority of our people, right? If the sword come and take them away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what it is, man. Yep. We're blowing the trumpet constantly, man. Let these fools do what they do. Let them, let them live a reckless, careless life. And the elect of the nation of Israel take heed to the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. And it is what it is. You will not be able to say in that day, you won't warn. Yep. 
You know what I'm saying, bro? Yep. That's one thing Jake would not be able to tell the guy in the Bible. Look, I didn't hear the warning. I didn't hear the trumpet. The internet full blast right about now, man. Yep. And plus, we got to do these. See, the Lord got us going into overdrive, you know what I'm saying? Because the spirit of the demon Satan, he going into overdrive. Yep. You got more witchcraft videos being put up. You got more videos of people smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, selling crack, um, producing crack, yep. opioids, and all that other. Look, we got to combat that with the truth. That's right. The truth shall set you free, man. That's right. Then the closing statements, bro. Yeah, the scriptures say, um, my word will not return unto me void. Right. And the word says, somebody going to die and somebody going to be saved. Right. A whole lot of people going to die. Right. All right. And only the elect is going to be saved out of it. Is that, that's that's right. not scary. Like scriptures say, as a wave is to a drop. Right. You know, in comparison to the amount of people that's going to die and these times coming forth versus the, the, the small, minute, uh, a number of people that's going to be saved that should put fear in our hearts man and our minds right. to get right man you know like so, a needle in a haystack yep that's right you know so so keep pushing for you brothers out there and i'm speaking to myself first and foremost we almost at the end man. Well, we at the end right we almost at the the final of the end man. right you know isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 for behold the lord will come with fire no hugs kisses bro with fire with fire man and what does fire do burn right that's a whole bunch of killing is getting ready to happen man what would i if it already be kindled right man? but our lord and savior come hey look parts of america is already gonna be on fire right man. and it's on fire now yep look at california right so the lord said he come with fire and within that represents the missiles mm -hmm. and and with his chariots like a whirlwind yeah, Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come and shoot laser beams, man. Right. You know, shoot laser beams, bringing forth death and destruction. It tells you that in um, Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, man. Yep. You know? To render his anger with fury. Yeah, the Lord is coming back angry and pissed off, man. Right. So he's coming back for vengeance, to payback. That's right. You know? For, for the elect of the nation of Israel and also for the ones that, that pierce him. Right. You know? That's right. It says, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Mm -hmm. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Yeah, that, that word plead means judge. All right, right. He's going to judge these people by, by fire. That's you right. You know? So uh, the, the best um, purifying cleansing. agent, mm -hmm. cleansing agent ever. Mm -hmm. That fire, right? No. Yeah. It says, um, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. No, just some, bro. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Shall, shall be many. Majority of these people are going to die, man. Right. If that's not scary alone, then, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Right. You know? Right. I love, seek the Lord while, you, while he may be found. Mm -hmm. You know, forsake your wickedness, Israel. It's going down, man. Mm -hmm. Don't let that thief catch you with your pants down, man. That's right. Hey, with that, man, we're going to beat a dead horse. We're going to go on and wrap it up, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, yeah. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing. Look, keep the favorite gods of people here for a pair. Shalom. Shalom.